So it's already been very clearly laid out, many of the numbers, the $2.1 million that was spent, um, the 174,000 votes that were cast over and above in favor of Assembly Democrats, and yet we have 39 um, Assembly Democratic er, representatives and uh, 60 Republicans. So w I'm sure you've already talked very thoroughly about how the numbers just don't add up. Um, the city administrator of Marshfield, Steve Barg, said, I believe that redistricting should be a nonpartisan event. It seems that everything becomes political at some point, but taking that the census information and redrawing lines is a very serious issue. It's not a science, it's an art, but it needs to be done apart from the political process to the greatest degree possible. And um, I've been here when the Democrats were in control and felt exactly like you did. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the, that my comment about just asking for a fair process um, is something that Republicans and Democrats come here believing that they have the best ideas, their, their constituents uh, elect them, and they just want a, a sense of fairness to, in order to do it. And, and it, it, it's really um, very frustrating and, and hurtful when... when things get partisan and the civility goes right out the, the window. And, you know, I, I think that um, uh, sometimes for people who've been around here a while, and, and I count both Senator Cullen and myself as having served enough terms to be in that category, it's important to remind our colleagues and the public that we're here to serve the public and that uh, we all win when the process is fair.